Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, how are we all doing? I hope you're all well. I'm just honestly really enjoying this kind of like downtime and just spending so much time with like my mom and my dogs because normally I'm always like traveling a lot for work. So, it's really nice to just be stuck in one place where I can just kind of enjoy myself. And plus, look how much YouTube content I've been turning out because my schedule is so relaxed because I'm at home. So, I've literally been able to do so many tutorials and even when everything goes like back to normal i want to keep this channel fully functioning like this so i'm gonna have my work cut out but i'm glad you're all enjoying the content because i'm really like enjoying making all the content that being said today's video is another how-to one and this is my method of how i permanently permanently repeat that again this is a permanent process of dyeing my synthetic wigs now, quick disclaimer before people just skip ahead and will miss this part. This method does dye the lace, the wig cap, the whole wig, once you dye it, will become that colour all over. And I'll show you at the end what I mean by that. So, this is a method that I use to renovate old wigs that I no longer wear because the lace might be ruined, or if I want to put a full fringe in them so then you don't see the lace this is what I do with them and if I want to do a double stack wig and I want to save myself some money because who doesn't want to save themselves some money I will buy or if I already have the wig like a lace front like say if I want a black double stacked ponytail I'll have the lace front to be the front part with the beautiful hairline then instead of buying another lace front I will go onto eBay and I will buy a hard front synthetic wig a nice cheap one nice and cheap like as cheap as possible and then i will buy the fabric dye which is again super cheap it's like six pounds and i will then dye the synthetic wig to be the add-on piece for the wig so then i save money because less ones can be i get a lot of mine from webster wigs or wigs by vanity vanity is a 250 dollars uh, Webster wigs are like £70, but if you dye a hard front with the fabric dye, it literally costs you like £16 to £20, pounds, so it's a lot, lot cheaper. Um, but I can't stress this enough, do not use this method to kind of like create like a custom wig and then freak out when you dye the lace because it will dye the lace guaranteed and you'll see that in the video today. Just use this method how you want, if you want to do a dip dye effect or you want to do like little sections of colour, you can do all of that, but you just, if you don't want the lace to be dyed, keep the dye away from the lace. But with that being said, let's just jump straight into tutorial, and then at the end of the video, we'll go over some more points surrounding the pros and cons of this method. But enjoy this tutorial, and I'll see you on the other side. So you're going to need one pan, preferably don't use one that you cook from because this is a fabric dye, and then you're going to need the pan to be filled with water, and I've just filled the pan to below my finger there with cold water, then we'll bring that to the boil. You're gonna need a fork or something to like stir the dye together and to get the wig out of the water. You're gonna need the dye, which is I dye poly in whatever color you want. This is just a powder, you add it to the boiling water. Then you're just gonna need one wig, which you're gonna to want to turn into the color of your choice. So step number one, you want to bring the water to boil. So you just wanna basically put, you can even put kettle water in here that you've already boiled. Or like I do, I just filled it up to here with cold water. I'm just going to turn the heat on and get the water to boil in temperature. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the water to boil. Or should I say I've already brought it to the boil. So you just want to put the water on heat until it starts to boil. I did it on one of the big rings here to get it heated up. And then I'm having it sitting on a smaller ring just to keep it at that temperature. But not going crazy and boiling. And now you want to add the dye. So inside your packet of dye, you get these two items. This is the powder, then this is the color intensifier. Add this to your boiling water first and stir it round. And then you want to add the color intensifier second. One's powder, one's liquid, do the powder first. And then you just want to stir this round. And you want to make sure all the bits are dissolved, otherwise if not, those bits can stick to the wig and make some areas more pigmented. So just make sure everything is nicely dissolved. Just have like a little tub or something lying around so you can just put your utensils in it. This is fabric dye, so it could stain surfaces. So instead of risking it, just have a bowl to one side so you can just 
save yourself the hassle, try and clean it. Then you just wanna add the liquid solution into the water as well. And I know it's a tear thing, but if you tear it too hard and it splashes everywhere, again, it could stain. So just cut everything and then it's easier. And then just pour it in. And it's just like this clear liquid and this is just to intensify the color. So you can see here, that's the color of the dye. So even though it looks really dark, this is the color. So now I've got a white wig. This is the color that we're gonna end up getting. So if you wanna do like pastel colors, what you wanna do is add less dye. So keep the water the same amount, but add less dye and it will make it more diluted so the color won't be as strong. Now, as soon as this wig touches the water, it is going to dye straight away and it's a very fast process. So what I do is, is just get the length of it and then just start to slowly put it into the water. And you can see it's already taking like straight away. And then you just wanna submerge the whole wig into the water like so. And just stir it around. Just keep stirring it in and around. And look, you can see the wig is no longer white. Now you wanna keep the wig moving because if you don't, you could end up burning it to the bottom of the pan. As long as you keep stirring it like this, you'll be absolutely fine. You can see the longer you leave it in, the color becomes more truer and darker. So just make sure you're stirring it through and then your wig will just be nice and even all over. And obviously be careful, do not burn yourself. But as you can see, even the inside of the wig, this is the wig cap, is now red. So what you wanna do now is, you just, now that your wig is dyed or once you get it to the color you're happy with, you just wanna pour this solution into your sink with running water so all the color can just run straight away and you can wash it all away. Do not do it in a plastic bath, do it in a metal sink or pour it outside down a drain, but you just wanna get rid of all the water now. So now you just wanna run your tap so the water's running nice and freely. And now you just wanna get the dye and you just wanna slowly pour it all away down the sink, nice and slowly. And then let that drain a little bit. And again, until the wig is just left in the pan and then you can add some cold water in there just to cool it all down. And then just flip the wig into the sink. <laughs> That's why you need to use an old pan because it does dye things. So now you just wanna run the cold water on the wig just to make sure the wig is nice and cool to the touch. Cause you just like, you don't wanna burn yourself. So then you just wanna use like a fairy liquid. This is what I wash all my synthetic wigs in. And what you wanna do is, is I just, squirt loads of it onto the wig and then just start to squeeze it all in like that and you can just see any excess dye that's still hanging around will go away and that's just because the froth is turning pink so you know there's some loose dye so just really lather it all up to get rid of all that excess dye. So I'm just gonna finish rinsing this and then I'll be right back with the finished wig. Okay, so let's talk pros and cons of the wig. So, first of all, I know you're gonna wanna see the wig, what it looks like. So this is how it started. This is the exact same wig that I started with. It's just this beautiful white color. This is the inside of the wig and what it looks like. You can see it's literally perfect. This is the finished process, the dyed wig. As you can see, this is what it looks like on the inside. Everything is now red. And when I say everything, even the clips that hook in to tighten the wig at the back, they have dyed red. So when you compare the two, there is a huge, like a huge, like transformation of the, the wig caps. But like I said, I'm not doing this method on like a brand new wig to get like a, a custom color. I am just using this method to transform all my older wigs or if I wanna double stack and save some money. That's why I use this method for, so that's the reason why I wanted to share it with you all so that you all could either save yourself some money or renovate some old wigs. So the pros, 
Custom colours, renovating old wigs, saving yourself some money when you double or triple stack in your wigs. Um, if you are doing colourful skin looks, you can then actually dye it blue and have blue lace so it will blend even more seamlessly. Those are the pros. The cons are, it, if you do not want colourful lace, it dyes the lace. So the lace does not stay the, the colour it is when you get it. It will not stay transparent. It will be red, blue, black, whatever colour you dye the wig. And Vaseline or anything like that does not protect the lace. I have done multiple different methods of trying to protect the lace and it doesn't work because the temperature in the pan is so hot it just melts off any so like like anything you put on the lace to protect it it just melts it clean off now another con is that this method you can't you can't dye a black wig a different color you can put a tint on it so if you had a black wig you could then dye it red but it would be a black red a black wig with a hue of red on it, if that makes sense. If you had a brown wig, you could dye it black. If you have a white wig, you can dye it any colour. If you have a blonde wig, you can dye it any colour. If you have a pastel blue wig and you put like a pink on it, you can get like a purple, so on so forth. Use your colour theory to like make and decide what colours you want to create. But remember, the colours appear stronger on pastel or lighter coloured wigs. That's why this wig that I just showed you is bright red because I used a bright white wig. I hope that all makes sense and it doesn't sound like I'm just like going crazy. But um, another little trick which I do recommend to do is that you can dip dye a wig really well. So like say if you have a blonde wig and you want it to be like neon pink on the ends, you literally can just dunk half of the wig in, pull it out and then you will have a half dip dyed wig Perfect, beautiful. Another thing you can do is if you section off all of the lace and then pull that forward, you can actually dye the back part of the wig one colour and then leave the lace part the other colour so you've kind of got like a fun two-toned wig, which again is another fun thing to do. Um, you can just kind of play around with it and have fun with it, but basically what I'm trying to say is, is just have fun with it, do this at your own will, Obviously, I know some people might be like, well, this is pointless, it doesn't work for you. And that's fine. I love this method. I use it all the time. Um, and I just thought I would share it as one of my little tips and tricks that I like to do. But yeah, I guess that concludes today's video. So if you liked the video, here's the usual. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video and if you found it useful and what other videos you would like me to film. Also, whilst we're talking about filming content, let me know what other how-to videos you want to do because I am already in the works, in the works? Yeah, I'm already filming some hair styling tutorials at the moment, so as you are watching this video right now, I have already filmed some hair ones, so I'm going to be slowly showing you all how to do some fun, super easy styles, so bear that in mind that there is going to be some more wig styling tutorials coming soon. But yeah, I guess that's it. So until then, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.